Okay. Okay, so now we're going to continue from where we stopped yesterday. So this is a bivariate transformation. And if you look at this bivariate transformation, we are having absolute value. So when in time you are having absolute value, your mind should go straight to two Jacobians. Two Jacobians. Now, yeah, because here yeah, your V can be positive Y. You can call this your V1, okay? Or your V can be what? Negative Y. Now, if V is positive Y, you know, from here, you have X to be equals to U, Y. So if V is positive Y, that means, um, yeah, your X1 is going to be U, V. So don't let me call it V1, V2. Here, you have Y to be negative V. So your X1 is going to be U, V. While for the first case, your y1 is going to be v. Now, for the second case, your x2 is going to be what? Negative u v. And your y2 is going to be what? Negative v. So these are the two conditions that we have. Now, here, you need to find the Jacobian. So the first Jacobian. Differentiating this with respect to u, you have v. <coughs> with respect to u, we have 0. So with respect to <laughs> with respect to v, you have u, and at the same time, your y with respect to u, you have zero. With respect to v, you have one. So the first Jacobian is v, and the second Jacobian with respect to u, we have negative v. <coughs> with respect to v you have negative u. With respect to u, we have 0. With respect to v, you have negative 1. So you still have v. So you are having two v's as our Jacobians. Now, using the general rule of transformation, what is the joint distribution? That's the first thing. <clears throat> For the joint distribution, we have x, y to be equals to X follows standard normal, Y follows standard normal distribution. So now, so for the standard normal distribution, we have 1 over root 2 pi exponential minus X squared over 2. You with me? Yeah. Okay. So for the Y, we have 1 over root 2 pi exponential minus Y squared over 2. Since they are independent, we have 1 over 2 pi exponential minus x squared minus y squared over 2. Now, we know what u is, we know what v is. So now we're going to have this in form of um, two steps. Okay? Now, <clears throat> x1, y1. Then you do x2, y2. Okay? Let me be sure we are on the same page. Do you get it up to this? Now, if you want to do x, y, x1, for the first part, which is u, v, y1, which is v. Here we have 1 over 2 pi exponential x squared. What is x squared? u squared, v squared. Minus y squared, which is what? v squared. Over what? Over 2. Right? Yeah. Multiply by the first Jacobian, which is V. Plus 1 over 2 pi exponential minus 
If you v is neg if you square this, you're gonna have positive. If you squared v squared minus. So we have to write it separately. Yeah, you had it together. Still the same. This and this happens to be the same. So right? Right about Oh, this is for the first one. This is for the first one, but there's no need. You can just write. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. X comma Y or U comma V. Yeah. Just use U comma V. Yeah. General. Okay. You had the first Jacobian and the second Jacobian together. What's it? Yeah, you had it. You had it together. And here we have V. So they are together, like half, half. So here you should have one. Yeah? One over pi plus one over pi. Which is two over pi, right? Exponential minus u squared v squared minus z squared over two. Not even you have no two we cancel out. You should have one. Yeah. You should have one. Because if you have one over two pi plus one over two pi. You have 2 pi, you have 1 plus 1, which is 2 over 2 pi. So you have 1 over pi. So you have 1 over pi. So this is what you have. Good, yeah. Multiply by what? V. This is the joint distribution. Worry about the marginal distribution. So your marginal distribution is going to be with respect to u, which is the integral of 1 over pi exponential minus u squared v squared minus v squared over 2 times v. The what? The v. Recall that you can break this down by having 1 over pi. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing as exponential v squared minus v squared u squared plus 1. Right? So that means you can break it down by saying exponential minus v squared times exponential. No, it's not possible. It's not. You can't break it down like that. U squared plus 1 times V. So what do you use? Yeah, you need to use... Um, you can use integration by part or integration by substitution. The range of V... Did I, from the question, I did not write it down from the question. But V should be from negative infinity to positive infinity. Yeah. Should be from negative infinity to positive infinity because normal distribution. So let's use integration by substitution. Now. <laughs> Let v squared to be equals to z. Okay? Dz, dv is going to be what? 2v. Right? So from here, dz is what? dv. So 
two V D V. Okay, so your D V can just be D Z over two V. Do we really have to take a relationship with our whole recipe thing, right? Yeah. You're having VV. So now, going further from here, yeah, you should have 1 over pi outside. Yeah, we have V. Now, your V is what? Okay, you have V exponential negative v squared is now z u squared plus one which is like a constant okay times what is the v the z over two v now v cancel out v yeah so here we have over two pi this is going to be from zero to infinity. This is from negative infinity to positive infinity. So here we have this. But for you to have this as um, zero to, it should have been two times. If you want to change this to zero to infinity, then you're going to have two times this. Recall, in standard normal, if you have negative infinity of a distribution, if it's going to be from zero to infinity. Yeah, this is with respect to z now. Okay. No. So how do you write this term? V square equals to z. So v is equal to square root of z. No. I only differentiate this function z with respect to v. So I differentiate, okay, it's like you having z equals to v square. The z, the v is 2v. I only differentiate v. That's what I did. Okay. Uh, so z is the function, and I differentiate with respect to v. Okay, I understood that, but uh, after changing the variable. Okay. So what have you done for the v d o v d o zero? I cross multiply. Yeah, the z I cross multiply. It's going to be d v times two v, dividing both sides by two v. You have the z over 2v. You have your dv here. So here, that means you're going to have 2. Okay? 0 to infinity exponential minus z u squared plus 1. dz. Now, if you differentiate this, it's very easy to differentiate. Right? So you only have 1 over pi exponential minus z u squared plus 1 divided by what? u squared plus 1. And here you should have 1 over pi u squared plus 1. Yes. Infinity goes negative, negative. We cancel out this negative. If you put this, 0 is 1 over this. So the negative sign will go away. Okay, yeah. So we take x squared equals c. Yeah. So the limit of p is negative infinity to positive. Infinity, yes. So what's the limit of c here? Now it's going to be from zero to infinity. Yeah. So after the now, the, you know, multiply by two. But yeah. Once you are changing the limit from zero to infinity, it's going to be twice. Just like if you want to prove standard normal distribution from a normal distribution, multiply we multiply by two because the limit is this minus infinity. Sorry, minus infinity to zero plus zero to infinity. Yeah, so that half of the probability here what do you think, right? Uh -huh. but, but here I am asking uh Z V transformed into the V square. So uh if we what's our range of Z then uh so the limit of V is 
Then that means you're gonna have infinity to infinity. Minus zero to infinity. The range of the square is equal to z right. And the range is from minus infinity to plus infinity. Yeah. So while transforming, we have to plug in the value of the minimum the minimum value is minus infinity. Minus infinity whole square is equal to infinity plus infinity mm -hmm. post infinity. So while plugging the z, while plugging the value of minus infinity, z so is having infinity. infinity. While plugging zero here, we have zero z. While plugging zero for v, we'll get z. While plugging plus infinity whole square, we'll get again plus infinity. So infinity. Uh, so infinity. So so z. Do you know that it's going to be twice now? So when it's from zero to infinity. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it will not be twice. Because the variable could transform. Okay. You said that uh, what you are telling is that it, that is based on probability, right? Mm -hmm. Minus infinity, infinity. Uh, then we can. This is the case. This is minus infinity, infinity. We are just. Okay, this is zero. We are just avoiding this part by taking okay, yeah. to zero to infinity, right? That we can do it two times this integral. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is different. This is transformed here, right? Then that shows that the two is still gonna be there. Yeah, two is two will not be here. So here you still have um, so you have one over pi. I think it's still gonna be one over pi, right? Yeah, yeah. It's one over pi, yeah. Still one over pi. Still one over pi, yeah. No, two. The two is coming out. The two is coming out. Yeah, the two will be coming out, yeah. And this looks like um almost like um what kind of distribution? Um uh ah, forgotten the name of this distribution. I think. Chi square. Chi square. What does it almost look like? Is it not log normal? That uh, the standard, uh, I mean, the MGF does not exist. Cauchy. Cauchy. Yeah. Oh. But I don't think Cauchy has in two. So that is just what I want us to have a look at. Then we talk about the hierarchical models.